Imagine you've been tasked with creating a new model of car. Where would you start? You could design cool features to install and then jump right into building it. But what if some pieces don't fit or don't work together? What if the target customer wants totally different features? The same danger is present when creating software. However, a lot of research has gone into avoiding this problem and the solution is called the systems development life cycle. If you implemented this process in building a car, you'd first think about why you're building it, how it should be built to achieve that purpose, the potential customers, the cost to build it, its price point, and its benefits. Similarly, in systems development, we analyze the feasibility of the project and think about budgets and its scope. This is the planning phase of the cycle. Next, you would think about the specific requirements of the car. What kind of features and operations would the customers expect? In systems development, this is the analysis phase of the cycle, where we analyze the requirements of the new system. After this, you create a blueprint for the design of the car. You consider the different components and the aesthetic design of the car. In systems development, at this stage we draw up diagrams to represent the software system. These include unified modeling language, UML, diagrams that look at the system from different perspectives. This is the design phase of the cycle. Finally, with the car completely designed to meet all specifications, you actually begin building it. Once built, the different components will be thoroughly tested and the car will be taken for a test drive to ensure it was ready to be presented to the market. When the users buy the car and use it for some time, they will require some maintenance issues to be fixed and you would offer these services to them. This is exactly what happens in the system's development life cycle. Once the design is ready, the developers create the code and build the system. It's tested and delivered to the customer. Once the customer is using the system, they will come across some bugs or other maintenance issues that need to be fixed. This is the implementation phase of the cycle. With an integrative approach like this, a project is far more likely to succeed. So are you. In this subject, we will explore exactly what goes into creating a software from start to finish. 